Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but we'll do everything DIY and today we're going to be working on a centrifugal chiller and doing the preventive maintenance. Thank you for everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Right now the system is down and we're going to start by draining the water. So we're going to drain from here and we're going to pull out this top right here so we can vent so the air will help push the water out so we can drain and we're going to just dump it right down here where it's cool. Before we start draining our system we're going to want to close our supply and our return valves for our condenser water. We got the top open to vent. We got a hose connected right now. We open the valve, travel across here, and we're draining down there. Once we're fully drained, we can open up our caps on both sides and we're going to punch tubes today. And a lot of times, don't be afraid because there's accumulated water inside of here. Yeah. So it'll drip. Just let it drip, you know, clean it up, obviously. But a lot of times, there's water that'll just come leaking out, all right? Gotcha. All right, so in a situation like this, right? We're lucky because we got it on a hinge. But right now, this is where you gotta be cautious and you'll come slowly with the impact gun, come out a little bit here, come out a little bit here, you know, just a wiggle it. What we do is we try to make sure that the chain is supporting this weight because you obviously don't want it to drop. Right, right now we're good because we got it on hinges. Also, what happens is with the hinges, because of the weight, it'll come out and it'll, it'll go a little bit down. Okay. You know what I mean? Because of the weight. This one seems sturdy. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll find out. All right, so we took off all the nuts and bolts. This is awesome because there's hinges. There's no rigging involved. Welcome to the dungeon. This is our condenser. Got a little bit of water. You can see we're pretty much fully drained. Those are the tubes inside there. There's a whole bunch of them. And we're going to be punching tubes and cleaning this thing up. Frankie the monster for you. <laughs> Instead of cleaning the tools by hand, I'm gonna be using this tube cleaning system. This thing is awesome. Let's get it set up. Let's get started. All right, so we got the machine hooked up. Here's the gun. So basically, this is our brush. We're gonna go into each of these tubes one is forward, one is back. So we're gonna push that in, reach to the end of the chiller, and pull it back. All right, guys, let's get into it. Sometimes your brush gets a little bent. Just bend it back into place. No biggie. We also got a pack of brushes for this job. Let's keep going. We just did the fifth one, two, three, four, five, six. I like going across. Keep it simple. And basically, we just keep continuing this process. Push in, push out.
So we're not just cleaning the uh, the tubes. We're also flossing them because they can scale inside and it could it could burst the tube. And the refrigerant will go in there. Refrigerant will freeze in there, and then it can freeze the other tubes. Mm. So we also flossing it, so it's not just uh, you know just sticking a brush in there with water. These tubes are a lot of money. So we just finished cleaning the top bundle because this is in the way. I'm gonna switch over to the opposite side so it's easier. We don't have any obstructions, and we're gonna take care of the next set. See, so here we are on the opposite end. This is the side that was done. You can just see the scale difference. So we're gonna hit this next bundle. From this side, it's much easier. There's no obstructions in the way. We don't have to lean in. Or anything so just a basic concept here punching the tubes get, we're getting rid of the scale and you know it's not the most fun job but it's part of it and that's what we came here for and that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna finish this all up and next we're gonna put it back together Alright everyone, so that was pretty much it. The bundle is all cleaned up and ready to go. From there, we're just gonna replace this gasket on both sides. Close this down, bolt it down, and that's pretty much it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you all next time. Yeah.